Hello guys, Brad here, and I have a fragrance review. Um, today at work, I was wearing a fragrance from Mark Burley called Charles Street. And uh, this is just a little lucky scent sample that I uh, wore today. It was uh, decanted into a little sprayer. And uh, this is classified as a woody spicy fragrance and came out in the year 2011. And that Fragrantica, here were the notes. Top notes, angelica, nutmeg, thyme, coffee, and carrot seeds. Middle notes, iris, jasmine, African orange flower, tuberose, saffron, rose, lily of the valley, and raspberry. And in the base, we have patchouli, oak moss, and amber, vanille, and leather. And the base notes, we have four reviews of it, three positive, one neutral. And for pricing, I found uh, at uh, Lucky Scent, the 75 milliliter bottles are $88. And for $125, you can get the 125 mil bottle. So uh, I wore this fragrance to work today. And uh, I didn't get a lot of the notes that uh, were listed here, specifically the florals. Uh, a ton of florals are listed here. I don't really get a lot of floral here. Um, I would say the main players, the leather and the raspberry and if you're familiar with uh, Tom Ford's private blend Tuscan leather you know that that one also has raspberry and leather in it so there are definitely a lot of similarities between Charles Street and Tuscan leather in my mind uh, now with uh, Tuscan leather the opening to me is quite harsh and uh, the fragrance you know if applied you know, heavily will produce a rather substantial, um, you know, fragrance bubble. Now with Charles Street, um, I didn't get quite as much projection as I did with um, Tuscan leather, but it was adequate. I mean, I could definitely smell it on myself, and I would expect that if people, you know, were asked if they could smell it, they could probably smell it. I mean, if I can smell it on myself without much trouble. And I would say for like the first four or five hours, it seemed to be uh, quite nice in terms of projection. I'm not you know, a big monster, but you know certainly noticeable. And then I would say um, you know six seven hours, it was still it was still producing some fragrance there. Um, not quite as strong, but I could still detect it on myself. Um, so I would definitely say that if you are a fan of Tuscan leather. You're going to want to check this one out. Um, maybe if you sample Tuscan leather, if you just uh, got a decant of it, um, try this one. See what you think. I think this was actually, for my taste, is a better um, option than Tuscan leather because I, I prefer my fragrances to be, you know, you know, detectable but not overbearing or powerful. And that's kind of what I get from this one. It's, it's just quite nice for the office. You know, if you prefer a stronger more potent, more of a uh, old school type scent, you might prefer Tuscan leather. But for the price difference, I don't really see how you can go wrong with Charles Street. Um, just a really, you know, just a nice uh, mature uh, raspberry leather fragrance, pretty much is what I'm getting. Not really much in the way of florals or coffee or like carrot seed note, which was pretty prominent in the original. I'm not really getting the carrot seed note. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of sweetness. It just kind of comes across as like a junior version of uh, Tuscan leather to my nose. Um, so let's get into the uh, final scores here. The smell, um, I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten. Um, not a great score for me for smell. To me, it's a little bit dusty and old, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of has like this uh, dry, dusty leather smell, which isn't really my thing. I prefer more of a creamy leather smell myself. So for me, like six and a half out of ten for smell, uniqueness I give it seven out of ten because of the similarities to Tuscan leather. Versatility I give it seven out of ten. Um, I guess the reason I gave it seven out of ten is that I personally I couldn't see myself wearing this every day. I think it would get kind of nauseating or you know annoying after a while, just because I, I just don't really like this type of leather scent a lot myself. It's something that I would probably wear. You know, a couple times a year if I had a bottle, but not every month or every week. Certainly not as a signature scent. Uh, projection longevity, I give it 8 out of 10. 
not a beast, but certainly gets the job done. Price, uh, you know, for about $100 a bottle or so. I give it 6 out of 10. So my overall score, 6 out of 10 for Charles Street. But I will say, you know, if you do like leather scents along the lines of Tuscan leather, you definitely want to check this one out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.